and we'll see if it's straight. You know, that's one of them. I think I would, Leroy built that square right there. Now you can't see between through it. Turn that into the grade. Need two. Now, I think that's 6061 on that aluminum grade right there. And we'll go over and speed up the meal. I think we'll use that one right there. Them one inch tall parallels right there. We'll put two of them in there.
Okay. Well, we'll, we'll have a, we'll have a drill right there. Needs to come down this way a little more. Yeah, that'd be good enough. Oh, yeah, just perfect. So we're good to go there. Let's run the table down a little. Uh, while we're drilling, That's that's one that's an R8 right there. That's what that is. A little oil on it. And then we'll put this boring head in there. And I think I'm gonna use that uh, I'll show you. One of these things. You know, it's one of them things that goes around like that right there and cuts that out of there. We're going to put in this boring head over here. And you, you, you have to get that, you have to get that. <clears throat> the theory is uh, the way that little cutter, a little piece of carbide that's done already brazed onto that shaft. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they ain't. But it's it's relationship to the center line of the sweep around through there. So when you look at that right there, you imagine where the center line is. So probably about right there. You know. Okay, it needs to it needs to cut a little bit more bigger hole. So you put this right here in that hole up yonder, and you run out of like that right there. And I'm looking at the shadow line right down there. So that's a well, that's a sixteenth of an inch, somewhere like that. You know, you know, just thinking in big numbers, like a sixteenth. Okay, that's as near center as you need to be. You, you know what I mean? Just looking at that thing on eyesight. I'll show you. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, I'll turn that there being on center info grade right there. Leave a comment. Let's go ahead and cut it to size now. Yeah, we'll put a little of that A9 there on there. Okay, I'm looking at it. I I'm looking at it that way right there. And you bring that down there where it's within working distance where you can get a visual on it. Don't let it touch the piece of metal. And, and, then, and then what we're going to do is loosen this thing up right here. And, 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 and if you're, you know, if it's, if you're working on thousands or some kind of small number like that, then you'd be concerned about that dial right there. But, you know, I'm just going to turn out about a sixteenth of an inch. You know, I can pretty much visualize that. And, and you run her over and knock that right there. I may go a little bit more on this. And, oh, yeah, that's, that's quite a bit more. But I feel I feel the machine can handle it. You, you know what I mean? That's, uh, that's the de deciding factor. That's about a... Well... Be honest with you. That's three thirty seconds, I'm sure. But we'll put a little, little, little that A nine all around through there. You know what I mean? Got rid of that vibration over the other on the workbench. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, that's one of them, that's one of them things right there that's made over in China. You know what I mean? I call it a precision instrument, I think. But that you can see it's doing a wonderful job so far. And, and I'll tell you what, I, I'll let you in on a secret. See, see if, or leave a comment if you've already thought about it. I have this machine set by the belt boys up there, the slowest speed that it will go. I think it's somewhere around 150 RPM. You know what I mean? It should be slower for cast on. And that's what I've been machining on the machine, and I have another cast iron project coming up after this one. So, I elected not to raise the speed on the machine. You know what I mean? Just go ahead and operate this, just knock this out. It's it's way too slow for aluminum. You know you know what I mean. I think that's at sixty one sixty or whatever that number is, in in that vicinity. And 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 you know when you when you're doing this right here now you you have you have the the cross the table uh, locked in you know this way and that way, and um, but I'm gonna jog it around. Yeah, let's see if y'all can see it this time. The, the little thing's well made. Uh, you know, whoever made it, uh, whoever put the stamp on it. The only thing I know about, the only thing I, I can vouch for this with, with the witness is uh, the part that I'm working on here will be made in Tennessee. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know what I mean? And, and you poke this up in there, in, in that Hicks thing there. 
loop in there and turn it out this way. Okay, you, you see how much I'm turning it right there? It's, it, that's not aggressive at all. You know, you, you could almost turn the whole thing. And, and I am getting a little bit bolder each time. See, that's that's progressive. Uh, a bigger cut as I'm going. But no, no need to... I'm comfortable with that cut right there. Uh, with the, with uh, taking in consideration the speed the speed I've got the thing set on you you know what I mean.